Hey guys, so I saw Veridark uh, talk about this, and a lot of people have been criticizing uh, the video. Uh, there's apparently a lot of, um, I'm guessing, bot type answer or uh, comments. Basically, it's just like copy paste kind of replies, like, oh wow, this looks amazing. You guys are doing great, or something like that. It's just different, pe different people. Uh, but pretty much the same message. Um, so this is a game where they say that they want to respect Japanese culture, but the architecture is Chinese. Now, they could have changed it by now. This was uh, a month or two ago. Um, they're taking someone who wasn't actually a samurai uh, and, and making the forefront uh, the two characters it seems like you're playing as are either a black man or a woman, you know, just like in real life feudal Japan. Um, there was a military banner that was using the, like, this symbol from, like, a reenactment group. Uh, so it was just all over. All over. And people were, you know, the Japanese were like, yeah, can you not? Can you not? Um, it kind of reminds me of, it reminds me of a, of a time I was with my good friend Orville. No, it reminds me of, um, that Cleopatra documentary on Netflix. So they come out with this Cleopatra, uh, documentary on Netflix and they make her black and the Egyptians, you know, the historians and this and that were like, yeah, can you not do that? Cleopatra was not black. It's like she was barely even tan. She was white. She wasn't even freaking Egyptian. So it's like if you, they didn't say this part, but they were like, yeah, if you want to ruin your culture and, 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 and make everything black and whatever, that's on you. Don't do that to us. We don't want that crap. But uh, Japan was like, yeah, you guys, uh, can you not do any of this? Because you're making the game look really, really bad. But, um, not just people, but you had, like, politicians and stuff like that coming out and be like, yeah, can you, like, actually respect our culture? Because the, the, the development team was like, oh, well, we respect the rich culture and heritage of the Japanese just as much as they do. And they're like, do you, though? But anyway, we'll get into this real fast. It's only... A like a minute, two minutes, so. Okay. That last sums up what feudal Japan was like. Strong, empowered women and black men. You know, just like real life ancient feudal Japan. We 
We also, what's with the his fans are just I don't know. His hands look like they're too small. Like you look at her hands and they seem like a decent size, but his hands look too small. Like the way it's pointed. That's kind of uh weird. Um I honestly the like the most the most interesting thing in this freaking uh little trailer was the freaking two foxes fighting. I want to know what they were fighting about. What was so bad that the those two little ones had to start fighting? For me, that was more interesting than anything else I saw here. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Like, this looks like it could be a trailer for, like, a Pokemon video game or something. You know? I'm just... This is, like, Legends Ar uh, Arceus, just without the Pokemon. There they are. Like, what are they fighting about? Are they playing? Are they actually fighting? I'm like, what happened? And, like, where's their mom? Why is there their mom? I'm like, hey, stop. Stop it. I'm more interested in them than the rest of the game. But yeah, the they they they're like, oh yeah, we, we, we respect the culture as much as you do. It's like, no, you don't. No, you don't. And it, it you know, it seems like they've gone ahead and, you know, actually um fixed some of the things that uh were wrong, like with the architecture. Um, let's go ahead. You know, now it looks more traditional Japan. But it's like the fact that people had to complain about it first. Like they say, oh yeah, we were working closely with with Japanese historians and experts. It's like how if 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 that's the case, how do you mess up so badly the first time? And use Chinese architecture rather than Japanese. If you care so much and you're working with experts, no one pointed out to you, apart from the fans, that you were using the wrong type of architecture, that the architecture wasn't even from that country that you were betraying in game. No one told you, oh hey, that, that symbol you're using for the Japanese militia there, yeah, that's a that's a that's a symbol for a reenactment group. No one told you that, yet you're working closely with experts. Come on. Come on. But, yeah, when you have fans of the game, Japanese citizens, politicians, you know, Japanese politicians coming out and be like, can you just, if you, can you just respect our culture? Please, please, I know you Americans like to do this crap. Of, of 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 taking historic figures and changing them it's like the last time i <clears throat> talked about this uh i said there were a number of legendary samurai in the feudal era why didn't they use one of them why didn't they use one of them you know maybe a samurai who did have impact on what was going on not some fucking guy who had near nothing to do with anything. You know, it, they could have had such a great story following an actual figure. Not to say Yasuke wasn't a real person. It's just he, he was, he, they're glorifying him like he, like he single handedly that no, he, he, he didn't do anything really. Uh, so to, here, hang on. All right, so Japan's 12 most famous samurai. Um, so, like, any one of them from... It's just, it would have been fine, you know, around that era. But, Yamoto... 
Je mocht een moussachi. Masamune. Honorable mentions. William Adams. You know, classic name for a samurai. No, but they, yeah. Um. So, samurai for that era, and they choose one that was like a bodyguard. So. I don't think they really respect Japan's culture and heritage and everything nearly as much as they say. Because you have all these other Japanese, you know, all these samurai, and they choose the black man. Who really had near nothing to, to do with anything there. So. There is also, uh, like, female samurai. Um, like a female group. We're well, not a female group. There was a female. And she was revered and really, t you know, talented. Actually, hold on. Let me bring that up, too. Yeah. Uh, like, why couldn't they have made a game about her? I mean, she was more historical and, 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 and than, than, than freaking Yasuke was. Uh, Gozen was Japanese female samurai that lived during the late 12th century. Um, in Japan, Gozen was known for her skill in archery and swordcraft. This, uh, the Tale of Heike, a uh, chronicle of the Genpai War, uh, described her especially beautiful with white skin, long hair, and charming features. Sounds like a tr traditional Japanese woman, honestly. Uh, she was also remarkably, a remarkably strong archer, and as a swordsman, she, uh, swords, swordswoman, she was a warrior worth a thousand, ready to confront a demon or a god, mounted or on foot. Gozen served as the first captain to Minamoto no Yoshinaka, uh, Yoshinaka during the war, though it is uncertain what happened to her following Yoshinaka's ultimate defeat in 1184. Hey, this was long ago. Uh, since since become an almost mythical figure in Japanese history. The accounts of her uh, accounts of her in the tale of Heike, uh, Hike, uh, inspired several subsequent generations of samurai. Gozen has uh, has since become a strong figure in popular culture and continues to be so in the modern day. She has appeared as herself in many books, movies, video games, and more. So like it's like she was an actual person. She was an actual samurai, and she was doing amazing things under, you know, under Captain Minamoto. So like, why couldn't she make a game about her? Why did it have to be freaking dude who had near next to nothing to to actually, you know? And Ubisoft is like, oh, we hear you. We hear you, uh, but uh, fuck you. It's our game. If we want to ruin your culture and all that and not respect it like we want or as the way you want, then that's what we're going to do. We're working with experts. Experts who didn't tell us that we were using Chinese architecture. Experts who didn't tell us that uh, the, the banner that we were using was uh, from a reenactment group. Experts that didn't tell us that Yasuke really wasn't that important of a person. He was a bodyguard. None of that. No, no, but we're working with experts and we love and respect Japanese culture and your rich heritage just as much as you do. Anyway. But like I said, this is what it's what the West does. It's what the West does. You know, just as it was with that Netflix thing with Cleopatra and then the Egyptians got all pissed off and like, yeah, can you not do that? She was one of our greatest pharaohs. She wasn't even black. She was white. She wasn't even Egyptian. She wasn't even Egyptian. But to us, she was like a goddess. Okay, so can you not take a historical, amazing goddess-like figure like Cleopatra and make her black just because that's what you Americans like to do? Can you not do that? Can you res 
respect us Egyptians, please. But nope, they went ahead and then they're like, mm, we hear what you're saying, Egypt, and we respect your heritage and your rich culture. But uh, no, we're making her black. But um, also for, actually, let me bring that up for people who don't believe that. Yeah, I found this amazing gem. Netflix's Black Cleopatra docudrama spurs furious Egyptian broadcaster to create rival with light-skinned lead. Uh, Egypt's al Wathakaya channel says their documentary will be based on the utmost levels of research and accuracy. Yeah, when you have Egyptians, like, you're not respecting the culture. You're not respecting us to the point where they are going out to make like an actual documentary and making Cleopatra light skinned like she's supposed to be just as like, Hey, can you not do this anymore? So, you know, these companies don't actually care about the rich uh, heritage and culture of these places. They don't because again, if they were working with experts as closely as they said, all these things wouldn't have needed to be fixed this time around and they would have done it right the first time. They would have picked a samurai or a historical figure that actually had an impact in feudal Japan. So, they don't respect the fucking history. They don't. They, they just don't. They don't. They're doing what Westerners are doing now. Oh, what? There was a black man in Japan? Well, well we gotta make the story about him. Because fuck you, Japanese. Fuck you, Japanese and your culture. So, but the area, you know, looks like they've changed the architecture to be more Japanese. Um, but we'll have to see what happens when the game comes out. I think they turned off a lot of people, uh, especially a lot of Japanese, uh, Japanese Americans, uh, by doing all of this by taking a figure like Yasuke, who might have been in Japan, but was just basically a bodyguard. He really wasn't doing anything major uh, and making him the center point of the game. And then the only other, like, playable character is a woman. Okay, it's like, okay, so I can play as either a black man or a woman. Just like feudal Japan. But, anyway. Anyway, also, what was with the horse? That horse, that, the way that horse was moving, he's just gliding along. That horse is like, I'm giving friction a huge middle hoof. I don't care. He's just like gliding along. His, like, his, his legs are moving, but he's just like gliding along. Nothing but the best programming from these guys. Um, anyway, I'm giving gravity and friction the middle of, um, but yeah, between Ubisoft and doing it to freaking, uh, Netflix, you know, people are just tired of the, oh, well, we respect your culture and, and, and your heritage, but then completely just go on to make something with inaccuracies and falsehoods and this and that. But then you want to sit there and say you respect them. Well, we, we hear you. We do. We hear you. We respect it just as much as you do. I don't think you respect their culture as much as they do. So, anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.